everyone, it's Russell and Ryan, and we're back with another episode of uh, Rated RR or something like that. Um, <laughs> this episode, the Outlaws have decided to vacate all the belts and form them into one to create the WWE Ultimate Opponents Championship. As you see, King won his first round match in his second round match. First round match, he beat Booker T. Second round, he beat R Truth. R Truth beat Enzo More. But Kyle King is in the finals. Fartley beat Kevin Owens in the first round. Finn Balor beat Chris Jericho in the first round. Fartley versus Finn Balor. Two-thirds of the Outlaws oh, yeah. going up against each other right now to go face their teammate in the final four. The yeah. Ultimate Opponents Championship. Ryan, it does not get more exciting than this. This is true. Yeah. This is going to be a great match. It's on Raw. So because otherwise, why would this be rated R Raw? Oh, this I don't wouldn't know. be rated. I, I have no idea. It'd be Survivor Series. But or uh, so when they were combining the belts, like, wait a minute, who's gonna get this belt? Yeah. Then, well, we gotta compete for it. Like, oh, okay. Arthritis Field <laughs> came up with the idea that they had to have a tournament for it, which was one of Arthritis Field's best ideas yet because we've had some fun matches. Booker T versus Kyle King in the first round was a pretty good match. Yeah. And not to mention the final is going to be held this Sunday at. TLC in a tables, ladders, in chairs match. And this match right here has been sanctioned a... Huh? Oh. Has been sanctioned a extreme rules match. Okay. Are you ready, Ryan? Always. We got Fartley versus <laughs> Balor. This is going to be a great match. We have not, the first time, we've we've never seen this match before. Fartley has never fought Finn Balor. Oh. So this is a first time ever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fartley has fought King before and holds one victory over King. As you can see, he still has the U.S. belt. He, did, he said, even though he's not really technically the U.S.A. Yeah, champion anymore, been he, he couldn't part with the belt itself, so he decided he decided he wanted to wear it anyways. Yeah. Just for good times. But he's still being introduced as the Intercontinental and Tag Champ and U.S. Champ. <laughs> and yeah. a little annoying. I mean, Finn Balor completely gave up his right of being NXT champion for this to unify these belts. Oh, yes. And Kyle King is no longer HGN world champ and tag champ either. But Kyle, but Bob Partley's different. He has not vacated any of his belts, but has agreed to unify them. So if he loses this match, I guess he's no longer champion, but I guess it doesn't really matter since Finn Balor doesn't win the belts either. Yeah. So either way, the... The, the belts don't really matter. They're just kind of there. They're just kind of there for aesthetics. And this is an important match <laughs> for the last... We had a week off. Uh, after the first round, we had a bye for all the competitors. Uh -huh. And last week during that bye, these two had some heated war words toward each other. Even though they are teammates and a part of the Outlaws. Uh -huh. Yeah, here we go, though. Finn Balor, the demon, making his entrance. He said this was probably one of the most important matches of his career. There it is. Here he goes. This guy over here. And approaching the ring. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. <laughs> he just, he stands there for like 20 minutes, pounds. moving his head around. <laughs> Oh, that'd be really well, th funny. Think about this. This is the first the time ever match. Bob Fartley holds one Let's victory and one victory only Turn over action, Kyle King. Up. Kyle King has never beat Bob Fartley. Finn Balor has never beaten Kyle King. Uh -huh. And these two have never faced each other. So this is real, a real test to see if Bob Fartley is the real deal or not. Oh, okay. Because if he loses to Finn Balor, but he beat King... And King has beaten him. What does that say about Fartley, who has beaten King? Hmm. If he loses to a guy that lost to a guy that he beat. This is true. But you're also talking about Kyle King, the same guy who won the belt by any means necessary, to be fair. 
and then proceeded to break Bob Fartley's neck before teaming up with him. I don't think Bob Fartley has really forgotten about that. <laughs> and Kyle King's also the same man that beat both Daniel Bryan and both John Cena and the same match. Yeah. And then walked out of Elimination Chamber a month, about two months later, with the belt intact again. Against the likes of The Rock and Randy Orton. I know. By far, this is the best match of the tournament so far. Brian? Yes. I think we're in for a match of the year candidate. Hmm. Look at the crowd. They're all pumped up. Even though I see the same person, like the same dude twice over there. One's holding the sign, one's not. <laughs> <laughs> one's, your, wearing one's wearing Rusev Star. Put your sign down. <laughs> one's wearing... Someone says, throw me a t-shirt. Put your sign down. Hey, in the background. That's funny. That he's doing the opposite of what the sign is saying. Yep. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> you can see that. I like that. I like that one. That was funny. Finn Balor. All right, Finn Balor. Okay, we get, we get it. Here we go. All right. Fartley. Balor. One on one. Here we go. Oh, and a forearm from uh, Fartley to start off the match. Sits him up. Kick to the back. And then lifts him up for a backbreaker. Now, Ryan. Yes. Who do you got your money on to win this match as uh, Fartley Ooh. stomps on the I don't know if... Uh, Kyle King has beaten Finn Balor. Point, it doesn't even look like a sweat has been like, Kyle King I has feel, beaten Balor. Yes. I feel yeah. like... Uh, as we watch I, Finn Balor, I feel like Bob Fartley could win it. Definitely looking good Bob so Fartley far. and Kyle Hasn't King are too much pretty punish, but up evenly to matched. Yeah, pretty evenly matched. I don't know. Well, but Balor then, now taking control Ow. here. And a DDT into the mat. As Balor looks to capitalize. No, oh, he has his arm stead back. Oh, and a stop right on the bicep. Here we go. Irish whip looking for the on the ropes. Sling blade. Oh, that was you nice. Always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you From ever Finn Balor. With a stomp to the gut and a kick to the back. Fartley getting up. Wait, he stopped. Reverse DDT from Balor to Fartley as Fartley is down on the ground, writhing in pain. Oh, Fartley counters now with a strike to the head. To oh, now an nice elbow to the done. face. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, a big oh, boot wait, counter. He wraps him around. Russian leg He's sweep. In big trouble. Ballering back in control. Now let's talk for a second. Yes. Fartley is the only other HGN world, only other successful HGN world, world, world champion. I mean, there was um, oh, this is not going to Randy be Orton, uh, as we know, but he was very successful on a pin attempt here near out, fall and right, a kick out by Fartley. But anyway, what do you think Finn Balor has to do to win this match? Um... Let's see. Well, he. I think for Finn Balor, he's definitely going got that un, those you know unpredictable moves that you never know what he's gonna do. Oh, and a DDT onto the apron oh, no as you say that. So I think he might well, have to really head. utilize all of his, his bag of tricks, if you will, Ooh. to really get the one up on Bob Fartley and to win this one. And not to mention, he's got to keep the pace up tempo because Fart Fartley is like King. They like to keep it at a slow, methodical pace and keep the match to their own standing. Like, see, like, he holds them strikes. Yes. Holds and strikes is what's going to win Fartley the match. But Balor is uh, he's going to want to keep it up tempo if he wants to win. Make him... He's too good inside yeah, the ring true. to be out on the Wait, what? Long. He has to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Finn uh, Balor has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. Finn, uh, Tyrese has to go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> <What>? No, Balor. <laughs> DDT to Balor. Imagine if you really did have to go to the bathroom in the middle of a match. I mean, I mean to I... be fair, <laughs> but to be fair, on a serious note, yeah. 
Hartley can keep up with a high tempo offense. It's just that finding the perfect way to counter it would just be too hard, especially against someone like Finn Balor, who's just going to pull out every stop and do whatever it takes to win. And a pinfall attempt here. A three. He what? beat made short work what? of Finn Balor. Uh, Fartley just made short work of him. Georgia. Hit him with a Death Valley driver and all. Well then. It seemed like we were in for a long, great match. But we will be getting a rematch at and, TLC. And to no surprise, Bob Fartley did in fact... There was no as we predicted. He kept the pace the slow, did not points. allow Finn Balor to get back on offense, and was able to take the victory here. I mean, the DDT. Pinfall attempt, which wasn't enough here. This Balor kicked I out. What we just saw. Highlight after Fartley highlight. in disbelief, but then Balor getting back up. Fartley would hit him with a Death Valley driver. Or as I call it, the Dreamer driver. Oh, somebody has their sign in the way. <laughs> Fear the demon. Uh, no time to catch your breath. All these Finn Balor signs, I guess. Uh, Farley wasn't favored very much, your but. Winner, representing the Bob Gonzalez. Well, Farley is going to the finals to face King for to become the first ever. First ever UPC champion, which yep. we will check out That's next episode. Right you if you guys w, enjoyed this video, click like and share. Count, subscribe if you're new. Also, be sure to tap the bell to get all our notifications. Like and until then, we will see you guys next time. Wall.